What is going on guys? This is going to be my first look at Dauntless. Now this is a Founders Only Alpha, and this game's kind of like Monster Hunter. That's the closest I can compare it to since Monster Hunter has been around forever. And this is going to be a free-to-play game coming, I believe, either the end of this year or the very beginning of 2018. But it is currently in Founders Only Alpha. I am trying to get some codes for you guys, so hopefully I can, uh, you know, get the devs to get me some codes so I can give you guys early access. Again, it's an alpha, so always keep that in mind too. But I have actually been looking forward to this game. I am especially looking forward to Monster Hunter Online, and this is supposed to be like the free-to-play version of Monster Hunter Online. Obviously from a different studio, different ideas, but like I said, it's like the closest thing you can compare it to. Um, so I've definitely been super excited for this, considering I've been super excited for Monster Hunter Online, and this just comes sooner, right? <laughs> um, so I've definitely been looking forward to this, and I can't wait to show you guys the game. This is, again, my first look. I have not seen anything on this game yet uh, since it has came out today. Uh, today is the first day of the alpha, so hopefully, you know, the game's good. <laughs> uh, so you guys saw that intro. I did already make my character. I obviously always skip that uh, part because that's the uninteresting part, in my opinion. So let's see. Welcome to the Shattered Isles. Hello, Slayer. Our world is under attack by ferocious beasts known as behemoths. You play an aspiring Slayer tasked with protecting humanity against the behemoth threat. As part of your training, you will now face the behemoth known as Nasher. Slay the beast and report your progress back to the city of Ramsgate. Either mouse and keyboard or gamepad controls may be used. Press tab on your keyboard or options uh, button on your controller to view these controls. Okay. I'd probably rather play with my controller then. Oh, here we go. Uh, so let's see. Uh, all right. So slay the Nasher and report back to the city. So I'm going to use key, uh, controller. So let's see. Oh, so they got the whole layout right here. I love this. You don't have to go into the options menu. You just, you literally hold down select and you can see all the controls. It's so, like, intuitive. Why don't games do this more? So, okay, so you have combos and stuff. You got, like, a quad X combo, a triple X, double Y, two Ys, two Xs, and then you just keep pressing X right there. You see the repeating elements? And then rising elements, Y, Y, Y. Uh, hold forward at the beginning of the combo will trigger a horizontal slash. Okay. So X is physical attack, Y is elemental attack, strong attacks that deal elemental damage and build special meter. Uh, RB is the special, uh, use one stock of special meter to unleash, unleash an, an ele elemental blast. I'm dyslexic guys, not really, but <laughs> I just need glasses. Uh, can be used to finish combos and override uh, require special meter stock. Use your special meter stock to increase attack speed and deal elemental damage with all blade attacks for a limited time. Alright. So left triggers your lantern, right triggers your sprint. Seems kind of weird, but uh, hey, you know, whatever. Uh, left bump is to sheath, unsheath. Uh, okay, B is dodge, A is interact, jump. And healing, offense, defense, flares, air drop. Okay, so we got the gist of the game. So uh, let's see if we can turn off really quick. I'm going to try to turn off some settings and see if the game looks a little better. I'll be right back. All right, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I turned off the post-processing, which is basically motion blur. I know there's other stuff that's included in post-processing, but motion blur is one of those things, and I hate, I hate motion blur, so... Oh, I see him! There's there's the Nasher. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, Sprint is uh, RT. See, that, that's a little weird. Hopefully, they'll... Uh, obviously, it's an alpha. Hopefully, later on, they'll let you change those controls, because I've just used to left stick, you know, a lot of Call of Duty back in the day <laughs> when I was in high school. Um, that was already, oh, that was already like, 10 years ago. All right. Actually, that was over 10 years ago. But let's fight this Nasher. This is not Call of Duty. This is uh, Dauntless. So yeah, definitely, definitely getting some monster hunter vibes. You just are one on one with a, a giant freaking monster. Oh, he sees me. I wonder, is there like lock on? Like, okay, so there's no lock on. Oh, oh, that music, that music. So what is it? It's X, right? Oh god. Oh, wow, that's loud. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn that down. Can you pause? Okay, <laughs> let me turn that down really quick. Wow, that was super loud. Let's go down like that far. That. Oh wait, no, you can't pause. Back to the game. Oh man, that's like a freaking grenade popping off right there. His tail. What's he doing? I'm gonna try to do these combos right here. Oh. Nope. I wonder if it's like Monster Hunter where if you attack the head, they uh, what's it called stun. Jesus, that's so... So loud. He's kind of missing, though. Not gonna lie. I don't know what that is. Is that just like a taunt? 
It is a tutorial, so if this seems, uh... Oh! Pretty lackluster of a fight, that's probably why. Alright, use my elemental attack. Oh! Yeah! See, that's what I meant, stun him! Try to do some combos right there. Alright, let's see. So I see I have potions on my number, or my up directional pad. Oh, that's sick! You can see, like, when he's getting hurt. I need to get used to this range. Alright, dude. I play- I, I have speedrun Dark Souls, alright? You ain't got nothing. I keep missing, though. <laughs> I think a lock-on would be nice. I think maybe that's going against their- oh. They might not like a lock-on idea. Might be like a gameplay decision, you know? Or a game design decision. Oh! Honor, can you dodge out of an attack? You can't. Okay. I'm gonna get this. Heavy attack! His face! Where's my combo meter, by the way? What's this do? I'm gonna try my combo. Oh god, he just like... Land- Oh! Oh, my- my weapon's like, buffed too. Oh, he's dead! We did it! Oh yeah, Nasher slain. Island clear. What's danger mean? Jeez, that was an 8 minute fight already? Oh no! <laughs> was that really 8 minutes? What's this do? I don't know. I hope that wasn't 8 minutes, cause that'd be like the entire video. Damage dealer, underbid 54. What up? Alright, so it looks like we're in, like, a, a hub area. So, welcome to Ram's Gate. Meet the bosun. Bossin. Uh, this is Ram's Gate. The tip of the spear in the battle against the behemoths. Uh, uh, here you will meet other players. Prepare for hunt and explore a variety of quests and stories. Begin your first quest by speaking to bosun Marcus Beller. Uh, look for a character with a question mark over their head. He will be waiting... For you at Rhymes Game Plaza. If you see a character with an exclamation point over their head, that means you have a new quest for you. If you get lost, look for the compass, or look to the compass at the top of the screen to help guide you. Okay. So let's go seek out Bosun. Oh yeah, it is! It is a, uh, a player hub. It's a little laggy. It is alpha, so games, if you don't know basic game development, usually, like 99% of the time, games don't get optimized until, uh, until basically release. So it's a little laggy in the hub, but that should be fine. Uh, also, oh, here he is. See, he looks cool. I couldn't make a character like that. There's, like, no facial hair options. Alright, so, quest. Uh, new quest. Welcome back to Solid Ground Recruit. You'll be a slayer soon enough. For now, you'd better check in with Cat. Speak with Katarin Sorel. Alright. Check your journal or look for, around for quests. Okay. Right. See you later. Yep, see ya, man. Alright, so there is a uh, quest that way. What is... What is... Okay, so, this kind of, like, maybe highlights... Uh, objects? Old A. Hunt a rogue Nasher. Welcome to Dauntless. This is the hunt board. Select a hunt from the list to set sail and slay behemoths with other slayers. Oh, so this is basically how to go out and do the missions. Oh, here. He was right here. Or she. Old A. Alright, so redeem. What? What's the word? Oh, okay. So it's my controller. The controller's like messed up with the, the keyboard. You can see my mouse. I think you've been seeing my mouse the entire time. I think the mouse is like highlighting stuff just because it's on the screen <laughs> so that, they probably need to fix that too so nice work you beat an aether starved rogue nasher and you did it on your own but remember recruit slayers work best as a team okay so next uh you've been training hard in your weapons show it head to the weaponsmith he'll upgrade them for you as a favor to me speak to weaponsmith wales barman let's go do that uh check your journal or look around for quests okay i'm going Hopefully we can, uh, I know there's like five different weapons, at least they're supposed to be. I don't know if they're all out yet, um, but uh, I'm usually a heavy weapons dude, but there was a, uh, there was a weapon that I was looking at that looks really awesome when I was looking at like trailers and stuff. So let's see, quest, redeem, uh, recruit, a pleasure to see you, but I cannot say the same about these poor battered weapons. 
Well, what are you going to do about that? My friend, your weapons have seen some use. Let us give them some attention and improve the balance. Sharpen the edges. I could definitely give these an upgrade. All right. Uh, enter the crafting interface to upgrade at least weapon. All right. That's that's all fine with me. Uh, crafting and... Uh, oh, yes. You can. All right. So... <laughs> There's, there's four weapons right now, I guess. I thought there was supposed to be five. Maybe there's just four for now, and the fifth one's being added later. So let's go through the weapons. So I'm usually, like I said, a, a two-hand sword dude. In Dark Souls, my first characters are always two-hand strength weapon characters. You know, when I play MMOs, I usually go with, you know, big, tanky, like, two-hand dudes. I've been, look, I've been loving axes. This axe looks awesome and really fun to use. But I was looking at these. Now, these... Chain blades. If you've ever played God of War, you're about to see. I want to use these. All right, so item upgraded. All right, so borrowed chain blades. Uh, looks like I can't upgrade anymore. Gonna have to get those materials later, probably. Requires two iron ore and one aether glass. Okay. So how do I go back? Maybe I should just use mouse and keyboard. To be honest, mouse and keyboard seems way more uh, flushed out for now. So let me just unplug my controller really quick so I don't, like, it stops, like, glitching out. <laughs> I'm gonna give someone a seizure from that. Uh, Alright, so controller is dead. We're just gonna use the mouse keyboard. Alright, redeem. Uh, not true. I've seen craft, but I did my best to improve this crude metalwork. It will do until we can forge some new weapons. Alright. You may want to try the other weapons you possess to test their effectiveness and use. I recommend you try them on target, such as Rogue Nasher. Alright. Uh, now, f now your weapons far outshine your battered armor recruit. Have you spoken with our friend Armorsmith? <laughs> uh, speak to the Armorsmith. All right, so this is basically the tutorial stuff. I guess it's good to show it off in a first look because you guys get to see, like, how they handle their tutorials and everything. Oh, man, this mouse is really sensitive. I'm going to have to turn that down now. How do I, how do I turn down the mouse? Can you even do that yet? Oh, no. Oh, no. The sensitivity is too, too much. I can't, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna have to like, whew, we have to barely, barely look. <laughs> oh no, man, I should just plug my controller back in. Uh, I'm so, all right, hang on one second, guys. Let me plug my controller back in. All right, we're back to the controller. Hopefully they add a sensitivity option. That's one of the most important things in my opinion, or there is, and I just didn't see it. But uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section, I guess, if you have seen the uh, sensitivity option. All right, so quests. Well, look what the Nasher dragged in. I say that based on the chew marks on your armor, but I can do something about that. Alright, well, tell me. Cat's a family friend. How about I upgrade the armor of yours on the house? See, these females look awesome. I couldn't make one. <laughs> I went with the, I usually go with female characters. I went with a dude because I couldn't make a female look, and they all just look like men. Uh, enter the crafting interface to upgrade at least one piece of armor. Alright, let's go up to the crafting interface. I guess I could just use, like, a pseudo mouse and keyboard. Alright, so I can do... Oh, one of each, because I have three of whatever material that is. Alright, so let's do the chest upgrade. And we got borrowed. Borrowed breastplate. Alright. And the gloves. And... Get that. And the boots. Or whatever they call the legs. I'm not gonna lie, this UI definitely reminds me of Sky Saga. Gosh, I gotta go back and play Sky Saga, man. It's been like a year since I played Sky Saga, and those devs were super, super nice. They wa they emailed me after every video uh, and answered my questions and even did stuff like they took the feedback and all that. I need to play Sky Saga again. I wonder how that's doing. <laughs> uh, so let's go back to this. Ah, come on, click it. Ah, there we go. All right, now that ought to last more than a few minutes and a hard combat against a full strength of behemoth. If you survive, I think we'll probably be talking again soon. The bosun sent word in the meantime he needs to talk to you before the next hunt. Speak to bosun Marcus. All right. So it looks like we're going to be getting into the uh, next the next fight here soon. I might end the video before we get into the next fight. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of editing uh, to cut out some of the random points where our like, you know, it was like loading screens and stuff. Uh, so I don't know how long this video has actually been going on, but uh, I might end it before. We might do just do one more fight. Uh, all right, so quests, new quests. Uh, hey, recruit, things are about to get a lot more dangerous. I've been holding on to this item for you. This is a revived talisman. These are for emergencies only. Use this to recover when knocked out and restore a large portion of your health as well. Use it wisely. Some recruit or rookies go through these like they're candy. Man. 
Uh, equip this item in your loadout. Alright, so they're kind of showing you how to use consumables and stuff. If you use it, I'll need ingredients to make more for you. Once you become a slayer, I can help you craft other elixirs and useful gear. Speaking of which, Cat needs to speak with you. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Alright, let me put this in my, uh... Alright, so here we go. The bosun just gave you a revived talisman, a powerful item that you can use when knocked out. Uh, open your loadout by pressing escape or start. Uh, selecting loadout, select quick items, then defense. Alright. The next time things get dire and every member of your party is knocked out, use your revive talisman. Okay. So let's go to loadout. And go to... Oh, down here, quick item. We got... Revive talismans. Just equip that. Oh, that's cool. You just, like, equip it. Uh, or you just click it and it equips. So, like, out potions, revive talismans, and a flare. Cool. Alright, that was easy. I like how easy like things are to do in this game nothing's complicated at all you like you hold select boom there's all the options you just press start and go to your loadout and you either have your weapon your armor or your quick items and you don't even have to like you just click the item and it automatically equips it in that slot that it's supposed to go in you don't gotta click the slot and then click it i'm assuming you could do that later on uh when you have like maybe a hundred plus items and it helps sort it but for now it's like ver very intuitive and i like that um uh, Whole day. Okay, so new quest. Nope. Not this again. <laughs> uh, Nashers are all too common around Ramsgate, but the Shrike population is booming too. Oh, so we got we got some new monsters here. You're ready to take on something with wings. Wow. And you should be able to handle a rogue, I would think. Haunt a rogue Shrike. Okay. So check your journal. Look around for quests. The Behemoth Board. Uh, you are now ready to take on the next challenge. Head to the Hunt Board located in Ramsgate Plaza. Here you will be able to select which Behemoth to hunt. To view your current quests, press J uh, on the keyboard here. You will be able to see your active quests and your progress towards completing them. You need to slay a rogue shrike. If you ever get lost in Dauntless, check your journal, press escape with the pause menu. Okay, now go to your hunt bar, select road. All right, so it looks like a little owl. We got, or not a little. <laughs> that would defeat the purpose of this game, kind of. But uh, so we got the journal real quick. And yeah, that's all we have to do. We have to go and kill a Shrike, a rogue Shrike, six hill to. Okay, yeah. All right, but like I said, we're probably just gonna end the video there. Uh, that way, I can see like if you guys enjoy the video. I don't want to go on for too long. We did the tutorial. The next might be part of the tutorial since we just barely kind of went through like how the town is and who's in the town, how to upgrade your stuff. Uh, so I'll end the video here, and then we can get more into deeper gameplay in the next coming episodes. Like I said, I'm looking forward to this game. It is only an alpha, so probably none of this is going to carry over to the main game when it finally comes out. But I still want to check it out for you guys. You know, being a YouTuber, you kind of just do things as they come out to try to, you know, get on them as soon as possible. And I've definitely been looking forward to this game. Like I said, I'm going to try to contact the devs and get some keys for you guys. Uh, try to get a lot of keys to help you guys get into the alpha. I Pretty sure it's pretty expensive, which is why I would probably wait on that to make sure, you know, to try to get into the giveaways. If I do end up getting the keys, I'm not promising anything yet uh, until more information. But uh, yeah, this game, definitely going to be putting out a lot more content, more gameplay instead of the tutorial when fighting actual monsters. And we can check out our new weapons and stuff like that. And yeah, I will see you guys then.